দুই ভাল্লু Good afternoon. Hello, afternoon. Hello, boom to Oh, lay. Oh, lay. Lay. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Tixa, Tixa. Final, and you can sense the excitement here. The winner goes through to the final, the loser goes home, and it's all to play for. Rohan Mustafa for the Kathmandu Kings 11, Sharat Vesavka for the Bhairava Gladiators, a match referee as always, Dipendra Chaudhary, and we're ready to go. Change the call from Sharat. Very easy decision. I think. Still. 
first. Very easy decision. Yeah, I think I think it's an easy decision. We like uh, every game like who's bowling, we are winning the game. So hopefully it will work for us today as well. Remarkable partnership at the end, and you'd love to take that momentum. All important. winning the game so hopefully it will work for us today as well remarkable to go tails, tails the call from sharat tails. tails it is the gladiators win the toss and you decide to bowl first very easy decision yeah i think i think it's a easy decision we like uh, every A very good morning and welcome to live coverage. midday a virtual semi-final and you can sense the excitement here
शोर आई डो दैट इज कम्प्लीटली अंडरस्टूड बट दैट फेलो boom Check one two three. Check one two three. Check one two three. Make the breath smell better. Yeah, this one's being tested. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. One two three. Good morning from TU Stadium from Kathmandu. All good, director. Check one two. Check one two. Mic check. Mic check. Palace to stop staring at me, please. Yeah, can you have a word with Palla, please? Boss, you. Palla, please. Look somewhere else, not at me. No, look away. Come on, you can do it. It's Palla now. Come on, Starman, Ravi, Indra Singh, and Sampo Sami back into the team. Bowled just two overs in the tournament so far. Three. Uh, good morning, and you're very welcome to the Ritty City Cement presenting the How's That pregame show. It's a beautiful sunny day at the Kurdapur International Cricket Ground, and I'm joined by the great man to my left, Farvez Maharouf, the former Sri Lankan.
before. It may 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 change the diamond dynamics a little bit as far as I'm concerned, but and uh, you know the, the bowlers did really well for the Gladiators. I mean they got they got a much better bowling side than the Kings Eleven for me. Yeah, Mohamed Naveed got the crucial wicket of Paul Sterling, the Irishman caught it mid on, and that was I think the turning point. The uh, Poor old Chitwan Tigers, they just couldn't get any momentum going really. Dependra Singh Iri tried his best. Star men for the Kings, he's coming back into the team. He's bowled just two overs in the tournament. But Sampal Kami is fit today and that's a big boost for the Kathmandu Kings 11. Yeah, I'm interested to see whether he's going to bowl. I mean, he had an injury straight away coming into the uh, in a big game such as this. Maybe he may, he may play as a batsman because he's a decent enough batsman as we know. If you have a couple of changes have happened to Kathmandu 11. So I'm interested to see if, if he bowls, it's be a big uh, boost for the uh, the Kings 11, but the place to watch for me is going to be Kevin O'Brien and Ron Mustafa for sure. Yeah, the two overseas stars, Kevin O'Brien, Rohan Mustafa, of course the leg spin of Pradeep Sahu as well, the Indian. And we do have a little bit more injury news because Sagar Pun has very sadly torn his Achilles. He was actually in hospital last night having an operation. He'll play no further part. He could be out for up to eight months. That's a horrible injury to do. Absolutely. I mean, it's one of the most horrible injuries you can do, do as a cricketer. And I wish him well. He's a lovely boy, a good cricketer. So I wish him well uh, for a fast recovery. Yeah, as do we all. And very sad to see. But hopefully that operation went well yesterday. The winner today is going to go to the grand final on Saturday, the 22nd of December. It's nearly time for the semi-final. We're going to come back to you with news of the toss and much more after this.
Are you t Just tell him. Welcome back, I'm Andrew Leonard. This is the Ritty City Cement. How's that pre-game show? And we've had 17 games so far at the 2018 TVS Everest Premier League. 13 of those have been won by the side batting second. So this toss is going to be crucial. Just three won by the side batting first and of course that one super over. Let's get over to see what happened at the toss that took place a little earlier with the captains Rohan Mustafa, Jared Vesakar, there with Nav. A very good morning and welcome to live coverage of the TVS Everest Premier League. It's the penultimate day of virtual semi-final and you can sense the excitement here. The winner goes through to the final, the loser goes home and it's all to play for. Rohan Mustafa for the Kathmandu Kings eleven, Sharath Vesavkar for the Bhairava Gladiators, a match referee as always, Dipendra Chaudhary and we're ready to go. Tails the call from Sharath. Tails it is. The gladiators win the toss and you decide to bowl first. Very easy decision. Yeah, I, th I think we, like uh, every game like who's bowling, they're winning the game. So hopefully it will work for us today as well. Remarkable partnership at the end and you'd love to take that momentum. All important game today. Yes, like the boys really chipped in. Everyone chipped in in yesterday's game. Looking to do the same today as well. Any changes to your team? No, we are playing the same team. All the best, Sharad. Thank you. Rohan, batting first. Uh, I think uh, before, uh, in a pressure game, I think back it's a good thing and I will try to put a good total on the board. So I think if we get some few wickets in the starting so they will be in a pressure. What you've done all along is history now. New day, new start, important game. Yes, of course. Uh, I think uh, guys are very pumped up and uh, I think uh, they want to play final. So today is the day they have to perform today. Any changes to your team? Yeah, two changes. Sumpal is back and Sandeep is in, uh, in place of Sagar and uh, Bikram. They both are all the best. Thank you very much. There you go, you hear the news. The Gladiators, once again, they won the toss and they're bowling first in this crucial game. News from the toss, no real surprise. The Gladiators choosing to bowl first, so it'll be the Kathmandu Kings to bat first. Remember, if you're in Kathmandu, get on down. It's an 11.30 start, we'll be getting going in five minutes. 100 rupees for adults, 50 for students. The umpires are ready, the players are ready. It's semi-final time. Let's get it on and let's get up to Nav and Farvez in the commentary box. It's a very good morning to you from uh, TU Stadium in Kathmandu. It's a big game between the King Silver and against the Gladiators. The semi-final. Venus of this will play the Patriots the final on Saturday. It's a beautiful day, early stage. And uh, looking at the two uh, teams here, the Kathmandu Kings still are making two changes. Sagar Poon is injured and we got uh, the former captain, Sampal Kami back. And uh, Bikram Busal is going out and you got, uh, beg your pardon, just, uh, Sandeep Rajali, beg your pardon, Sandeep Rajali back into the team. Same team for Bairola Gladiators coming from a big game uh, yesterday with a win. And as we saw, the toss was won by the Gladiators and they asked the Kings 11 to take the first release of the wicket. A warm welcome to my good friend Navneet here. Very good morning, Maruf. I can just sense the excitement in the air. We're in for an exciting contest, the penultimate game of the TVS Everest Premier League. And what a crackerjacker we have. The Kathmandu Kings 11, he's back in action. They're taking on the Gladiators, fresh from a victory last evening against the Chitwan Tigers. Remember, it's all or nothing here. The winner goes home. And to open the batting for the Kathmandu team, their captain right on top there, Rohan Mustafa. 
and he's going to be opening the batting with Amit Shrestha his right-handed opening partner he scored a half century in this tournament in fact it was against the gladiators that he scored his half century Amit Shrestha here's a look at Rohan Mustafa's numbers he'd love to add to that tally Maruf definitely after losing the toss skipper Rohan Mustafa is really the key man along with Amit Shrestha you know Brian who's been sublime form with the ball with the bat right throughout this tournament and also Navid yesterday ball from the far end and today he has uh, shifted to the other end which is a commentary box end so some tactical change straight away and the other 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 reason I'm looking forward to how come he's going to bowl I mean he's a decent enough batsman we know that he's a, he's a good all-rounder but whether he's fit enough to bowl I mean if he bowls that's a big boost for the Kikatman King Sullivan been struggling uh, especially in the death overs with Amish uh, Ami, uh, Jethan Bukia has been really inconsistent just uh, risk free identifying the bowlers identifying the areas where to go and uh, the compression victory against the Chitwan Tigers yeah it was a remarkable partnership there right at the very end ah, bounce there cramping him for room Rohan Mustafa did well to keep that down and get a single and get on to the non-strikers end a good morning message from the UAE bowler to the captain, UAE captain Rohan Mustafa. No love lost there. They know each other very well. International teammates Rohan and Naveed. Ah, oh, fantastic. No answers whatsoever from Amit Resta. An excellent delivery to end the first over. And the Kings are two for no loss. A 
Are we going to see spin being introduced early on? Uh, from the, looks like it's Ryan Tendiskata to open the bowling from the far end. Yes, it is. He opened the bowling yesterday as well. So interesting tactics. Tendo tenderly, generally tends to bowl in the middle overs. The captain wants his main man to be bowling up front and giving him those early breakthroughs. Also, one uh, factor would be to uh, bring Tendo in with a new uh, new ball. It's the swing that uh, Mohamed Navid got in the over. So I think it's a good call by uh, Sharad Vesvarkar, experienced campaigner. And uh, also, Rohan Mustafa is very strong against the spin bowling. So it may be another factor why uh, seam bowling is up front. Just turns it on to the leg side. It's the shorter side of the ground today since we're playing on the far right. But the fielder had to cover some ground and so two comfortable runs for the captain, Ron Mustafa. A loose from Ryan Tennis Carter. Full toss uh, to the leg side of Ron Mustafa. Flicking it towards mid wicket and slight field change again. Slip fielder going towards short mid wicket straight away. Nice and solid from Rohan Mustafa. Right back behind that delivery. And gets the single. A good bet in there by Roshan Rohan. Showing his experience. Not going uh, too hard too early. That's been his downfall sometimes. In a big game. Big opportunity for him as a captain. To lay the foundation for the Kings. Maybe to get Kobe and Kevin O'Brien in the middle. Give him some overs to get settled in. Once, and we all know that once he gets going, it'll be hard to stop. Yeah, they have a strong middle order to the Kings eleven, led by the Irishman Kevin O'Brien, and he's been fantastic all through the tournament. They'll need everyone to come together and deliver on this big game. Down the leg side, I was. I'm wondering what that appeal was for. Thought uh, the appeal was for LPW, Namnit. Thought um, he did pick his uh, front foot. I missed out on his chest over there. Leg side half volley. A slight little would have got him a four runs, but I missed out there. Well, Pradeep Sahu in the dugout there. Bright smile. He was unplayable two days ago, Pradeep Sahu. He bowled a fantastic shot here from Amit Reshta. A diamond on fielder couldn't stop that. And four runs to the Kathmandu Kings 11. Fantastic shot on, on the up. On drive, one of the hardest uh, shots to be played in uh, cricket in manual. And Amit Reshta was middling it. Passing mid on for a boundary. Once again, straying a little on the leg side. Easily tucked away. No run though. Just talking about Pradeep Sahu. He bowled the most successful over in this season of the average Premier League. A triple wicket maiden. We don't see that too often, do we? Yeah, Pradeep Sahu has been inspirational for the Kings. Even Baradwell as well. And some of the catches he took the previous games. What a fantastic signing for the Sikings 11. Played uppishly there on the bounce to the mid on fielder. Wasn't in complete control of that. Two hours completed, nine for no loss.
Right, Mohammad Naveed to continue once again from the pavilion end. And for those of you who are just tuning in, welcome to the third edition of the TVS Everest Premier League. This is the penultimate game, a virtual semi-final here. The winner goes through to the final, the loser goes home. The Gladiators versus the Kings eleven, And it's Mohammad Naveed from UAE bowling to his captain counterpart in the UAE team, the Rohan Mustafa. Interesting field setting there. I'm not, have, not having an offside uh, slip fielder, but I do have a leg slip. I mean, I've never seen that in 2020 cricket, <laughs> especially uh, to a left hander. With Mohamed Navid coming around the wicket and swinging it, swinging it in and having a leg slip. Some tactical moves straight away by Captain Sharad Vaswakar. Yeah, this is very interesting from Sharad Vaswakar. The inward movement that Naveed is getting to the left-hander. There you go. Oh, they're looking for that. Close call. Almost ran himself out, Rohan Mustafa. Yeah, Direct would, uh, Direct, prepare and Direct would have had him there. Mohamed Naveed coming around the wicket to the left hand, swinging it in, hitting Rohan Mustafa's pads. And a good call by Amish Festava. To get that uh, leg by. And for the right hander, very rightly so, two slips still. So attacking field here by the Gladiators. They want to get that early breakthrough. Hurried on there, pull shot. Mohamed Navi's kitty customer. And also, uh, correctly, uh, skipper Sharad Vasfakar going for the uh, early wickets. As you know, the Kings 11 are top three heavy, maybe top four heavy with Kevin O'Brien coming at number four. And then not much uh, except for Pradeep Sau has been consistent in the middle order. So early wickets for the Gladiators will put the brakes on uh, the Kings 11. Yeah, but he wants to be bowling a little fuller. He's getting some assistance from the pitch. But that's nullified if you bowl short. He has two slips to support him. That's more like it. Much fuller in length. They go, you steal another quick single to the Kings 11. And they continue. Will they continue to persist with the leg slip for Ron Mustafa? Yes, they do. I reckon tactical move would have been uh, brought to, uh, to the table by Mohamed Navid, his counterpart, Rohan Mustafa. To having a leg slip. To be honest, I've never seen in a T20 game, Navin. It's been uh, something very unique. May work. Well, the running between the wickets has been on point this morning from between Rohan and Amit. And this might very well play a crucial role in them building this partnership and this innings as well. They want to lay the foundation for the rest of the batting lineup. And tidy bowling from the gladiators means that the boundaries are not easily coming by. But proactiveness by the two openers in getting the singles. Just the one slip now, so... It's going to be four in the 30-yard circle on the offside and two on the leg side. And they have a fine leg and third man. Just the one slip. Taking their time. Sharad wants to make sure he has his field right. Yeah, he moves back from gully to backward point. Swings hard at it. He was looking for that expansive drive over covers. Didn't make great contact on that. And that flies away to the third man region for a single. Yeah, that's some interest of our strength. Anything, uh, anything with width will go uh, the offside. That's been his strength uh, right throughout his career. But at that stage, uh, 
taking getting a thick in uh, outside I beg your pardon towards third man for a single a lot of talk between Sharad Vesavkar and Mohammad Navid in these first couple of overs every ball counts they want to make sure their field is right an early breakthrough is what they're looking for both teams want to get that early advantage in this big game like maruf said momentum is everything here in a t20 format it's been a decent over so far from mohammad navid just five conceded chest when i say that he concedes another extra has tied for pace there navid missing his uh, missing his line and uh, lucky that he didn't get a edge would have been an easy boundary and we saw the replay there it's still swinging but navid couldn't uh, control that delivery one more run to the king's 11 yeah he's still getting very good inward movement to the left hander so he'd want to probably start from outside off and bring it into the left hander that will automatically bring the lbw and into play there you go that's what he's trying an appeal probably doing a little too much end of the third over and the kings 11 are 15 for no loss Right. Three three overs, fifteen for no loss. For the Kings eleven. And it's gonna be another change in the bowling from the far end. Tendis Carter bowls just the one over. And it's gonna be the captain bringing himself on. Sharat Vesavkar to bowl his off spin from the far end. Interesting, Maruf. I thought it's tactical. Amish Shrestava likes to go uh, towards deep mid wicket. They got it covered. There's a deep mid wicket. There's a long on. I previously had gotten out for all spinners. It's a good move by uh, Shad Vaswakar bringing himself in. And hopefully, sneak a wicket or two here. See, the of 13 runs. But still, I feel like, uh, you know, he, he's the one to bowl in the power play. He doesn't give that much space to the batsman to work with. been a feature so far in this little partnership between the two openers the running between the wickets steal another quick single and with the right hander facing Sharat Vesavka he's going to be bowling into him and it's the longer side of the boundary so should Amit Shreshta go for the big ones he has his fielder stationed in the in the on the boundary line and with the left hander he's going to probably be inviting him to play against the spin and hopefully look for that leading edge yeah, I reckon I'm sure, so I should take the one or two risk. Not uh, Rohan Mustafa against the Ospina. There you go. He was looking to turn it onto the leg side. Completely missed the ball. And it runs away to a boundary. A valiant attempt there. But wasn't able to stop the boundary. And four runs is probably four buys. Concede. Yeah, turn there with the new ball. Rohan Mustafa trying to work it to a leg stump and got to say that's very ordinary we could keep him there by Pradeep Pairi expecting it to go straight but in the rain it, the turn a completely fox and an easy uh, four runs easy four a bonus run I should say to the Kings 11 yeah it was Krishna Karki in pursuit of that valiant attempt unfortunately couldn't stop it but if there's one person who's going to be licking his lips looking at that delivery it's Pradeep Sahu in the dugout a lot of turn for Sharat Veska, of course, as someone who doesn't turn the ball too much. A concerning fact was just turning from the middle stump. Brilliant effort by uh, Krishna Ka. Nice pace there by Sharat Veska. And a slip field from short mid wicket. 
straight away after that previous delivery. Ryan Tennis got the move from short mid wicket there. Out comes the switch hit. No, no run though. Yeah, too risky by Rohan Mustafa. He can't give this wicket away. Being the captain, he should bat along. Should get Amish Rivers too to take all the risk. An appeal, loud appeal from the captain. It's the captain of the Gladiators to the captain of the Kings Eleven. The umpire says not out. It's going to be interesting if that pitched in line. Yeah, missing out. Stump. Good decision by the umpire there. Again, no, oh, just shot at cow point. Sharad Viswakar not giving any pace at all to Rohan Mustafa to work with. That turn and bounce. And Fox in there. That's the end of the fifth over. Big pardon, fourth over. It's 24 no loss. Ryan Tennis to bowl his second over from the pavilion end now. So change of ends for the Dutchman. It's been that kind of cautious start from both teams. They're waiting for the opponent to try something out of the ordinary. So both teams trying to get a sense of what the other has to offer. So interesting passage of play here. Yeah, pressure of a big game. Bino takes it. Right, Ryan Tennis Carter to bowl from the pavilion end. And mind you, this is the penultimate game. The finals of the Everest Premier League is this Saturday, the 22nd of December. But guess what? We have the grand finale of the Nepal Idol on the 21st. That's tomorrow. And you can get yourself some tickets at all the Seva outlets. You don't want to be missing out on... Amish Rivers have missed out there. Brian Tendas Carter erring in line and the length. And uh, it was lucky that uh, Amish Rivers didn't get any bat. Any bat would have been four for sure. The off cutter from Ryan Tenniscada turns it away on the leg side. Just the single. Like I said, it's been a cautious start from the two opening batsmen. Running between the wickets has definitely been on point, And both teams are okay to play the waiting game here. Can he custom Ryan Tenniscada? Not giving any pace to Amish Revastava. Was eyeing a big shot. Shot a boundary to his leg side. And uh, Ryan Tenniscada, the experienced campaigner. Knows his stretch, and we see straight away a couple of field changes there. The third man finally coming up, and a deep score again, a long off uh, in place in the boundary. And just a very quick reminder to everyone watching live coverage of the TVS Everest Premier League. EPLT20. And we'd love to read out your tweets. We want to know what you're thinking. Ah, swing and a miss. So far, it's been a struggle for Ron Mustafa. Just five of 13 deliveries. Uh, up the ante but missing out there and uh, we got a third option for a run out chance it's probably going to be an easy decision yeah should be straightforward for the third umpire to call that not out he had his back down in time while the players get a very quick break 21 for no loss here in four the Chitwan Tigers 
Unfortunately, it was the road for them as they lost to the Gladiators last evening. And the Patriots in the first qualifier, they got the better of the Kings 11 and they are waiting to see who they're going to play in the final. Will they face Kathmandu once again or will it be the Gladiators? A slight misfield there, backing up uh, Captain Sharad Vasukar, allowing the two batsmen to cross over for a single. Ron Mustafa again, living on the edge when he comes running between the cuts. We know that the last game he was uh, run out as well. Ryan Tendaskata, again, not giving any pace. There's another run-off cutter. Just 22 of uh, the power play so far. Yeah, it's been that sort of a game. Both teams are okay playing the waiting game. The batsmen are happy to give it some time. The gladiators are waiting for something to happen. They sense a mistake coming from the batsmen. Big game, pressure situation. Shot there by Amish Srivastava. For a single uh, to deep long on. It's the end of the fifth over. Kathmandu Kings 11, 23 for no loss. Final lower of the uh, power play to be bowled by skipper Sharad, experienced campaigner. And I'm pretty sure Amish Srivastava, who's been uh, quiet for the last five overs, will be eyeing the deep long on or the deep mid wicket boundary, but both is very well protected. But the huge gap between them. The off spinner to the right hander. Six deliveries left in the power play. Is he going to fancy the captain here? Will he go for that big one? They've been patient so far in this five overs. Surely he's going to be tempted to play the big one, Maru. Shot. Oh. Uh, straight to the long off fielder. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that uh, these two batsmen. Must be itching to get away. Just 24 runs in the power play. Not the ideal start, but most importantly, they haven't lost any wickets. As we know, from about numbers, number six, there's not much batting with uh, Kathmandu. It's important that Rohan Mustafa carries his bat through. Gone! You could sense something coming! He went for that big heave across the line, missed it completely, and the captain gets his opposite number. Yeah, that's brilliant bowling by Sharad. Again, not giving that pace, and Rohan Mustafa has to create his own pace, trying to go across the line, and I reckon there was a thick inside edge to be bowled. He was on the cards, wasn't it? The captain bowling himself in the power play, Rohan Mustafa. He was patient all along. Then decided to go for the big one, missed it completely. They lose their first wicket. It's 24 for one. That's ordinary uh, cricket by skipper Rohan Mustafa. Trying to cross spinner. Not the uh, best of options. Would have been much better. If he had uh, chosen to go over the horse stump. But unfortunately for the Kings 11, they lose this captain. And uh, John Amish Shrestava in the middle. It's going to be Naresh uh, Badu. Decent enough player. As you see the replay there. Going across. Nothing shot in the end. There was no absolute no turn at all. Just keep through. 
powerfully struck his first delivery Budair straight to the mid off fielder dot ball the gladiators will be happy with the start 24 for 1 towards the end of the power play swings again Budair he wants to make full use of the few deliveries left in the power play and gets two runs and gets off the mark as well and also uh, Ospina bowling into him He's trying to uh, maximize the power play there straight away, which uh, Ron Mustafa and Amish Resta couldn't do. Ah, waiver from the captain. Keeper misses it as well. Yeah, two more runs will be signaled by by the umpire. We come to the end of the power play. Six overs completed. And the Kathmandu Kings 28 for 1. Here's a very quick look at what the six overs look like. Sedate start from the two openers. Running between the wickets was good, but they didn't manage to get too many boundaries away. There was an odd appeal from Mohamed Naveed. The captain Rohan Mustafa tried to get a few boundaries away, but eventually he perished as he tried to play across the line to a Delivery that didn't spin at all. Sharat Vesafka. So six overs completed. 28 for one. And uh, change in the commentary box. I'm going to hand it over to my good friend Andrew Leonard to take you through. Yeah, thank you, Nav. And uh, I'm going to have Farvez stay with me. For the next five or six hours, we'll see how we go. Going to be Kushal Mala. He was the hero with the bat yesterday, Farvez. Yeah, fantastic uh, innings last yesterday, Kushal Mala. And straight away after the power play, the left-hand spin has been introduced with two right-handers in uh, in the wicket. That's just going to be a quick single. And let's throw down to Sangeeta. A bright sunny day here in the TU grounds in Kirtipur. And I have a man who's probably feeling the nerves more than anybody else. Binod Das, the head coach of Kathmandu Kings 11. Binod, so good to have you here. Uh, all important game today. You know, what, what is the uh, feeling like with the players? What, you know, what is the uh, environment like with uh, everybody? What did you tell the players before the game? Well, uh, we've, we've got our message. We've just asked our players to take it as just another game. Uh, yeah, we all know that it, this is important for us to, to go through to the finals, but uh, it's the same for the, both the teams. So uh, nothing much to worry about if, if, if we stick to uh, our skills and, and not worry too much about the situation and condition. I think we'll be better served. Right. Um, Kevin O'Brien and Sompal Kami is back. Yeah, big wicket there. Just throwing to us. Sorry to cut off Bidar Das for just a moment because Budier has been bold and it was a beauty from Kushal Mala. Back to Sanyuta now. She's got Bidar Das. One wicket down, you know. I'm uh, really sorry, but um, Sompal Kami is back and then Kevin O'Brien has been an important player for the series, hasn't he? Yeah, I mean, Kevin and, and Rohan have, uh, and even Pradeep, to some extent, they've been uh, the pillar of our success so far. But we expect our Nepalese contingent to do better. Uh, sadly, Nuresh has not come good in, in this tournament, but we are uh, We've got Amit at, in the center right now. So we've got a little bit of batting to come still. Uh, we are looking to post somewhere around 140, and, and I think we could make a match out of it. And we get to, to our surprise, uh, is, is, is not playing as well as it should have played or it, it was playing before. So, yeah, anything between 140 and 150 and we are in with a chance, yeah. Right, I was just going to ask you what is a good uh, total to defend, but, you know, like we've seen 85% of the matches out here, the chasing team has always won, hasn't it? Yeah, because uh, because of the uh, condition in the morning, it's it's a little bit uh, cold and uh, even the wickets are not that easy to bat on uh, in the first innings. Uh, but, uh, yes, uh, if you lose, 
you're up against it but i think we've got a batting to to get get us to a total that we could defend uh, last game we scored 100 but still we were in the game till till the 20th over so yeah the idea is to get as many as possible and then, and then there is nothing uh, like putting the uh, runs on the board in 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 all pressure match so yeah we are hoping to get somewhere around 140 somewhere and then we'll take it from there okay okay one okay now back to the com box We've had two wickets and two balls, and we've had to cut off Bin Das again. He's not going to be happy because the big Irishman, Kevin O'Brien, first ball. Kevin O'Brien, what have you done? Huge expectation on Kevin O'Brien's delivery, not middling it. Don't think he went through the shot, he just played a half hearted shot. I think he was looking to go over extra cover, it skewed off the inside edge, and what a catch! From Avanesh Bahara down at long arm. That's the third wicket. It's three. Two wickets and two balls. And it's going to be Mandu Kings overseas players, Pradeep Sahu, who's going to come to the crease at number five. And he's in because Kevin O'Brien is gone. For a first bowler. A huge wicket for the Gladiators. And one more huge wicket for the Gladiators who can't take up. Pradeep Sahu has been really consistent with the ball, with the bat. And the last uh, of chance for the uh, Kings. As you see the replay there, as you correctly said, uh, Andrew, he was trying to go over extra cover. I just thought it was too early. Could I have just given time to settle into the middle? Because he knew that was his biggest wicket. Here's the hat trick ball. No hat trick. It's three strong strike because the batsman did cross over. What a 24 hours it's been for Kushal Mala. The hero with the bat yesterday, he's just got two and two. Super over this for us. Yeah, we're still talking about momentum in T20 cricket. Malla was a big part of winning uh, yesterday and straight away carrying that momentum today and picking up two important wickets for the Gladiators. Ah, it's going to end the seventh over. The Kings in trouble. They're 29 for three. Kings card and they have lost three wickets in the of six balls and two very big wickets because Rohan Mustafa he was bowled by Shard Visak and Budier was bowled by Kushal Malan the very next ball Kevin O'Brien three wickets gone in just two overs and Bubin Karki is going to continue the trial by left arm spin from the far end. Good choice of uh, bowling change by uh, Skipper Sharad. Bringing another left arm spinner for the two right handers who is in the middle. Why? Farvez, why have we seen the sides batting second so dominant in this year's tournament? I mean, it's hard to answer. I just think that uh, maybe the pressure, and they like to thrive in pressure, maybe. I don't know, maybe wrong. No, nothing different uh, happens ah, in the wicket. And just, it remains the same, just a 40 overs. The sun is not beating that much. And there's no much uh, huffs and puffs in the wicket. So I just feel like um, this Nepali mentality is to chase and they're quite successful doing it for a longer period now. Wow. Yeah, that's good from Sahu. He's going to get off the mark with a single. This is the 18th match of the 2018 TVS Everest Premier League in the 17 games so far. We've seen 13 matches won by the side batting second. Three by the side batting first and that solitary super over. We nearly had a second super over just a couple of days ago as the Kathmandu Kings went down in the first v second match. And they're in big trouble in this virtual semi-final. 
Lovely there by Kaki. Slower through the air. Not giving the length which uh, Amishresta looking for. Predominantly a leg side player. Likes to uh, hike it towards mid wicket. And too much of a risk now losing three wickets. Yeah, the Kings in all sorts of trouble here and they're going to have to try and battle up to some kind of a total. The pitch is not getting huge turn. It just looks a little bit slow, if anything. As I predicted in the morning, I mean, it looks a bit, a bit uh, softer than the wicket what we got yesterday. And Stoke making won't be that easy. Oh, yeah. Much foot movement from Shrestha. That ends the eighth over. It's 30 for three. That's the scene there. It's an 11.30 start this morning. And although the Gladiators have been slow between their overs, they're going to be delighted with their start because the run rate has ground to a halt. And after being 24 for none, the Kings are now 30 for three. What a superstar this young cricketer is, Kushal Mala. He was the hero with the bat yesterday, and today he's the hero with the ball. Inside edge. Yeah, thick inside edge there. But a beautiful length and a, and a beautiful line. And slower through the air, uh, getting that uh, curve towards uh, the midland leg stump. And uh, all sorts of trouble to Sahu, who, who's under pressure. Yeah, he's bowling slowly through the air. That one just clipped off his legs. Could be a chance for a run out. Oh, a poor throw. A better throw, and Sahu was in huge trouble. Absolutely, Andrew. Agree with you there. A better throw would have had Sahu in trouble. But an ordinary throw at, uh, beg your pardon, from deep scholic fielder there. Hit down the ground by Sahu. How key is he going to be? Obviously, his leg spin is what he's been known for in this tournament, bowling so beautifully, but he's going to have to do it with a bat today. Yeah, definitely, uh, Andrew. I think uh, he's uh, not going to be very crucial for the Kings eleven, as well as his four overs. Clipped off his legs by Shrestha. He's really struggling, 12 off 26. He just can't get going. He's just stuck at the crease at the moment. I reckon he's just stuck between uh, trying to go aggressive or keep his wicket. It's a mental block there. Well, that's the big shot. You could see it coming. Another fumble by Pradi Pairi. He's had a poor day with the gloves so far. That's going to be signaled by. Yeah. Amit Shrestha going for his favourite shot. The slock sweep. Completely missing it. And the wicketkeeper, Ayri, missed as well. He's been uh, quite ordinary, the wicketkeeper, today. In this kind of tracks, you've got to be stay lower. He's, for me, he's starting up too early. Uh, Worked into the leg side by Sahu. He looks in good touch with the bat. Just going to be a single. End of the ninth over. It's 35 for three. the scene here at the Kurdapur International Cricket Ground. We're in the playoffs now of the 2018 TVS Everest Premier League. And it's do or die time for both of these sides. Only one of them can get to the grand final on Saturday. Ah. And it's big advantage to the Gladiators at the moment. Definitely. And also the two left arm spinners not giving anything away to the King Sullivan player. Batsman in the middle being very tight. With good line and good length. 
Heave down the ground. It's gone aerial towards the man at long off, but bounces short of that fielder out of shake. Yeah, the big question is how much does uh, Kings 11 behind? I mean, it's something at least a minimum of 100 runs just for the psychology, uh, psychological effect. Uh, I beg your pardon. For the uh, 100 mark, at least for this wicket. Priester still continuing to struggle. 12 off 28 now. Strike rate of under 40. I reckon he's just in the mental block whether to go hard or go go slow. I think he'll be better off just trying to milk the singles and give more strike to Sahu. For the sweep this time, he just can't get the ball away. And you're spot on, Farvez. Somehow the Kings have to get up towards 100. Definitely. I think uh, a score of 100 is a minimum for the Kings. Got a very strong batting line of the Gladiators. And we see the dugout of Kings 11. Quick single. Tendashade can't pick up cleanly a point. We saw yesterday that Ravi Indra Singh and Ryan Tendashade both failed with the bat, but the Gladiators still got the win. Yeah, that's what's been lacking with the Kings eleven. It's been predominantly the uh, the foreign players been performing. None of the Nepali players have been consistent for them. So that's been a real problem. But in the other hand, Gladiators have been really good. Ah, beautiful one. It's going to be the halfway stage of the innings. It's 37 for 3. It's the halfway stage of the Kathmandu Kings innings. And they are on a big time go slow because they have managed just 37 runs so far. And the star with the bat yesterday, Kushal Mala, is doing it with the ball now. He's got two wickets. And he including the big one of Kevin O'Brien. Time for a change in the commentary box. We're going to pass over to Nav and the ever graceful Suraj. Always a pleasure to have Suraj in the commentary box. Jack of all trade, master of all. Yeah, Suraj? Well, Nav, everybody in the com box, very kind with their words. Looking sharp today, though, Nate. Goes to the slog. There's a fielder lining up. It's in the air and it's got him. Another wicket falls. Ahmed Shrestha, the Manta depart. 13 runs of 31 deliveries is made. And uh, Kathmandu 7 in all sorts of trouble. It's been an innings that has got momentum whatsoever from the very first ball. They took some time with the openers. And wickets have started to fall in a heap. Ahmed Shrestha going for the big one. Trying to play against the spin. And it was the shortest boundary, yes but didn't make good enough contract. Fourth wicket down and the Kings 11. Well, they're 37 for four now. Right. What is Kushal Mala doing to the Kings 11? He is casting a spell on the Kings 11 is Kushal Mala. He did some damage with the bat last evening against the Tigers. All over the Kings 11 now. Well, a few more bats. So important coming back after his injury. Well, uh, he can hit the ball a long way as well. But Kathmandu Kings 11. Ah, down the track. Very first ball. Bobby, 
Sandeep Razaili is the new batsman in. What a story, Kushal Mahan. Coming in from Talent Hunt last year. And this year, competing with the best in Nepali cricket and the world. And delivering. Mustafa, as you can see. Contem contemplating what he could have done better. Good running between the wickets. The comeback for the second, Sandeep Prajali. Well, Suraj, I know we were chatting about Kushal Mala last evening as well. It was a phenomenal knock. Just 24 runs, yes. But in the context of the game, those were crucial runs and he made it look so easy. And now with him contributing with the ball, serious contender to be up for selection in the national team. Absolutely, Navaneet. Last year, Rohit Podel and yesterday, Kushal Malla and Rohit, Mal Rohit Podel striking that all-important partnership. Stood up that one, slammed hard at it down the ground. And he's 17 years of age, is that right? Well, like they say, there's no age for talent and performances. Sandeep Lamichane, Rohit Paudel, Dipendra Singh Airi, Kushal Malla, all under 19 boys. Ah. And speaking about young Nepali talent, the biggest superstar in Nepal cricket, Sandeep Lamichane, is going to be bowl playing his first game in the Big Bash in Australia. How big is that for Nepal cricket? 11 completed, 42 for... Going to be Bonkabi to, to continue in his third over. Just the three conceded so far in the two overs that he's bowled. Zumpal Kami himself. This is the crucial virtual semi final. You have to make it count. The winner goes through to the final. Like you said, they need to come good and come good all at once. Ooh. Waited for that ah, and punched it off the back foot. On, but well stopped there. On, by the bowler himself, Puan Karki. Athletic person on the field, very good bowler as well. Nice prospect for the national team. But Rosali and Sahu have to partnership here on the ground again, and uh, this time he can't stop it. So it's going to be single thinking about the second, not there. Rosali and Sahu they'll have to convert the dot deliveries into singles and twos because there is some hard hitting left in this lineup Siddhant Lohani the man you can faintly see on the screen Sumpal Kami too can strike it a big way but what they need is a crucial partnership Napneed the odd delivery 
String down the leg side from Buon Karki. He's been very disciplined so far. A tidy effort with the ball. Just the six conceded. And almost three overs that he's bowled. Ah. And a finish to his third over. Another tidy over. Let's have a look at the highlights then. Lot less boundaries and not many wickets. Rohan Mustafa, the first man to depart. Clean bowled by Sharad Besawakar. And if you see, it's a pretty ordinary shot. Not when you're three wickets down. That's right. Well, the approach and the shot selection can definitely be questioned here from the Kings 11. It's been a passage of play that has been dominated by the Gladiators. Also the technique, Navaneet, facing spin bowling. A lot of batsmen were caught in the crease. There was no foot movement whatsoever. Not coming onto the front foot and trying to get to the pitch of delivery. Trying to cut off that spin. And you said unnecessary. Kevin O'Brien, first shot. Half-hearted, in fact. And, well, he was caught... Some pace you'd probably have to say was definitely going above the stumps. Height the question there. And the umpire definitely not very interested. Uh, 46 for 4 now. Pradeep Sahu. He bowled arguably the sp Again onto the leg side, that was bowled onto his pads and uh, another boundary then. Pradeep finally getting some momentum to the Kathmandu Kings 11 innings. Two back-to-back -back boundaries then, that will give him plenty of confidence. Yeah, the first boundary to the right of the fielder, the second boundary to the right of the fielder. He's picking his gaps well is Pradeep Sahu. He has a lot of ground to cover. Square leg field. No chance on both occasions. What a lovely flick from Pradeep Sahu. Finally, some life instilled in the Kathmandu Kings 11 innings. We'll have to continue from here. If they are to get to a decent score and pose a threat to Pairava Gladiators. Still plenty of work to be done, though. That was first game that he played in the TVS EPL 2018 against Biratnagar Warriors, and the batsman had no clue. First getting the all important wicket of Babar Hayat, Anil Shah then just trapped in his crease, and this one shaping away. And uh, the next one coming in to the batsman. Absolutely a treat to watch, Mohammad Naveed. He was on point from the moment he arrived here in Kathmandu. Can he get that first wicket that he's looking for today? 
It's Sandeep Rajali on strike. Shot. On the bounce to the mid off fielder, just the single. Successful over for the Kings 11. 13 completed, 56 for 4. Yes, Kushal Malla appearing twice on that score sheet. He's done all the damage for the Gladiators. And most importantly, a wicket of Kevin O'Brien. And especially when he scored no runs, will do him a world of good. Yeah, last year, EPL contributed Anil Shah and Rohit Kumar Paudel to the Nepali national team. This year, Kushal Malla definitely one of the contenders. Biggest of occasions, a big cricket festival in the world coming to meet Nepali cricket. And the young gun delivers. Pitch full, driven down the ground for a single. Talking about big festivals, another big festival up to The grand finale of Idol Season 2 has Pulchok Engineering Campus Grounds. Tickets are available on eSaver outlets. You wouldn't want to miss that. Two back-to-back -back grand finales. Nepal Idol, then TVS EPL 2018. Goes for the big height over mid-wicket. Finds the gap once again. Well, he's piercing the field to precision is Pradeep Sahu. Another boundary. Yeah, he's got confidence now, Pradeep Sahu, and he's going after it. Just clearing the front leg, following the ball till the last moment, and then offering a shot, just dropping short. Off the fence, that's why only four runs, but uh, Pradeep Sahu is finally delivering it for Kathmandu Kings 11. So today an early start, it's not easy batting out there. Hits it hard again in the mid-wicket region, this time the fielder gets behind it. Excellent running between the wickets. This is what you want to see from the Kings 11. He pushed this non striker very hard, and Sandeep Prajali was quick to respond. Yep, that's what they need to do convert those singles into twos. And then uh, when the ball is there to be hit, Pradeep Sau has not held himself back. Much better. On the middle and off stump, that's the line that he'd want to be bowling Boan Kaki. He did that all along the first three overs. Straying in length and line a little bit in this final over. But despite that boundary, very economical figures for the left arm spinner. Do you think the pitch has uh, started to behave better, Navaneet? All those boundaries coming in. Ah. I was just hoping you wouldn't ask me that question, to be honest. It's so hard to read the pitches here. We've seen some low-scoring games yesterday, 140 being chased. So it's been a little difficult to assess the three pitches that we've played in the three in the last two weeks of the TVS Everest Premier League. They've obviously been on the low-scoring side. We have only see the odd game go above the 150 mark and one above 200. But otherwise, it's another tournament, another season that's been dominated by the bowlers. So 14 completed, 65 for four. Right. For everyone watching live coverage, this is the penultimate game of the TVS Everest Premier League. We'd love to hear what you're thinking, your thoughts on this season of the TVS Everest Premier League. Do you have any inputs? Talk to us via hashtag EPLT20. Keep your tweets coming in and we'll be happy to read out some of them. Avinash Bohra. Comes in to have a bowl from the near end. It's been very impressive this two of the Nepali seamers that has uh, stepped up and delivered for his side Avinash Bohra. 
Six wicket in six matches. Economy slightly on the higher side, but if you're picking wickets at regular interval, I'm sure the captain wouldn't mind that too much. Another standout name in this season, Avinash Bora. How good was he yesterday in the crucial game against the Tigers? Got two wickets. Was the family oil game changer yesterday? Rohit Gupta, the man on screen, the owner of Kathmandu Kings 11. Very worried at the moment. Well, the closest thing that would come to Slinga Malinga, Avinash Bora. Another dot ball, two dot balls to start off the 15th over. Just 65 on the board, Suraj. Well, this is the last over for them and they'll have to go about playing their shots now. No use saving those wickets. There's still some hard-hitting batsmen to come. Siddhant Loni, the like of uh, Sompal Kami. Still thought Razu Rizal should have been sent up the order because... Uh, He's the one to anchor the innings. He's not a hard hitter of the cricket ball. Just plays smoothly. Oh, missed that one. Dropped. There was a definite edge. The wicket keeper, Pradeep Ayari. It was an easy triangulation catch for the wicket keeper. Well, it hasn't been the best of days for Pradeep Ayari, hasn't it? That was a regulation as it comes. Straightforward catch for the keeper and a complete mess of it. Well, what does this mean for Razaili though? It could have been Avinash Bora's first wicket in his very first over. Excellent! Absolutely pinpoint accuracy, accuracy there between the short cover fielder and the mid off fielder found the gap and it runs away past the two fielders for a boundary. Yeah, I was what does it mean for Azali though? How often do we see this happen in international cricket? A catch dropped and the very next ball goes for a boundary. Adding salt to the injury of the bowler. <laughs> Navinash Bora will be mighty disappointed. They can't bowl full though. This is the dropped catch. Well, I can't say anything as to why he could have missed that. Just another single to third man. A useful little contribution from Sandeep Rajali here. He's giving good support to Pradeep Sahu, who's been the aggressor so far. But with just five overs, little over five overs left, they would want to push the pedal on the accelerator as soon as possible. Last ball of the 15th. In the air for a little while. Oh, and that's gone. Ryan Tindo shot at the man. And he's gonna make he's not gonna make any mistakes. Bora has uh, finally picked up the first wicket in the form of Pradeep Sahu. It was the crucial wicket, wasn't it? And he rolled his fingers over. It was the off cutter. Definitely deceived Pradeep Sahu there. What he did was manage to lob it straight to deep mid-wicket and Ryan Tendiskata. Yeah, gonna miss too many. 15 completed and the Kings 11, 70 for 5. Right, we've seen great variety in the bowling from the gladiators. There's some variety in the commentary box as well. 
Serious look on his face. Parvez Maruf, he's not very happy with the Kings 11 batting. And the ever so did Andrew Leonard. To the end of the first innings. Thank you, Nav. Great to have you, um, Suraj, there for the last few overs. We'll guide you through the last five here. Andrew Leonard, the big tall man, right? Parvez Maharouf, can they get up? Maybe 100, 110. Sampal Kami is going to be crucial to that. Definitely, they got enough batting uh, on paper. They have experience enough to do that. That's a million dollar question here. Yeah. Sampal Kami, all rounder. And he's off the mark. Remember, Sampal Kami in the opening Kathmandu Kings 11 game did an injury, an ankle injury, after bowling just two of his overs. He hasn't played since. But when it comes to the semi final, you've got to play, don't you? You've got to get out on the field, even if you're not 100%. I'm interested to see whether he's fit enough to bowl. The ankle injuries can take a little while to recover. Down the ground, heave towards the man at long on. He runs around, but it's going to fly over his head and into the fence for six runs. And the longer part of the boundary, Rajali middling it over long on for a six. Very handy uh, six runs for Kixilavan. Who's been in bad situations in few last few overs, but that's true. It's the 189th of the tournament, but it's the first maximum, and it belongs to Rajali. Change in the field. They're going to put a fourth man in the deep on the leg side, so there is not a single man. Oh, we have a change again. So deep square legs coming into the ring. He's going to be square leg. He's now going round to 45, sort of a short backward fine leg, three men in the deep on the leg side. Yeah, good batting from Rajali, just going to be a single, he can't get back for two. The way Aksumpal Kami ran for that single, seems, seems to be all right. It was very, uh, very quick, off the mark. Sprinted, tried to uh, run this uh, second run, but there's no way there was a second run there. Yeah, he's a man who prides himself on his fitness, there's no doubt about that. You can see he's just trying to get Rajali back on to strike. Some late momentum here for the Kings. 33 runs in the last four overs. Flight had hit down the ground. A lot of air given by the bowler, brave from Mala. Yeah, indeed he's really brave to give that uh, much of air and fully in the length. Picked up three wickets, giving him just nine runs, Mala. Yeah, two really good days yesterday with the bat and today with the ball. Good all round, all round upcoming all rounder. into the leg side the man is quick off the mark at cow corner just going to be a single to end the 16th over it's 80 for five that big rajali and it's a man on tvs everest premier league debut who's doing the business for the Kathmandu kings here in hole so far, good knock from uh, Rajali, 21 of 19 deliveries, straight away thrown to the deep sea. Big game as uh, sim final, but haven't disappointed us. He's been really good milking those singles whenever the big shot is. No second thoughts, he has gone big. And it's been so pleasing to see the local Nepali youngsters stepping up to the mark. We saw yesterday the gladiators needed them. The Kings hit down the ground. Towards long on, just going to be one bounce and a single. And that's what been lacking for the uh, Kings 11. The Nepali local players haven't been consistent enough. It's mainly uh, performed by the foreign players. So that's been a major concern. 
for the uh, Kathmandu Kings of Arels, the Gladiators. Yesterday we saw how well the uh, local players performed and got them through. Yeah, it was Kushal Mala who was joined by Rohit Powdle. And to be honest with you, Farvez, I thought they were dead and buried. They needed 47 to win off five overs. It looked for me, for all money, like the Chitwan Tigers were going to be in the semi-final. But the local lads, they got it done. Beauty. Beauty from Bahara. He's got that slingy action. That one went away from the bat. Perfect length. I think the per the length, big part in the length uh, did it for Sompal Kami there. Missed out completely. I mean, had a few games off straight away coming out for injury. Never easy. Surprising that Bahara only came on after 14 overs of the match. So he's only going to be able to bowl three. I suspect Mohammed Naveed, possibly Ryan Tendashadi will bowl the other two. Hit towards the man at long off. That's going to be one bounce. Well fielded by Rohit Powdle. That's good stuff from the Gladiators. Yeah, Minash Bora. The game changer yesterday. I was surprised that uh, he came so late. And only uh, Wood uh, managed to bowl only three overs. And with these variations, it'll be very key. I mean, he can bowl a good Yorker. Good bowling again into the block hole. Just going to be a single. Then the 17th over. The score now 86 for five. both failing today Kevin O'Brien falling for a first ball duck such delight for Kushal Mala he's bowled out his three overs or his four overs got, took three for 20 and as I said it's going to be Ryan Tendashade to bowl one of the final two overs possibly both of them yeah, possibly uh, I think uh, one of uh, Naveed one of Tendis Carter Bora. that'll be the order of the day uh, Neskada was taken into cleaners in the uh, yesterday's game when he came back for the second spell. Got four fours in the, in the over. So Palkami eyeing the deep mid to get bound, but it's a longer hit. So we're interested to see what tactics that uh, experience so Palkami will use. Tendishare looking to go full. Flipped off his legs. They're going to run hard and come back for two. He's going to have to get the... Oh, direct hit. That could be out. Brilliant fielding. And Sampal Kami, I'm not sure he's... Always direct hits. Are close and naked eye looking from here. Looked out for me. And just said, Barry, his feeling has been really good. As you see the replay there, he's gone. It's a 
Brilliant throw by the fielder deep into cut. Sompa Kami. Short by about six inches there. And the Kings losing their sixth wicket. Rohit Powdle was the man in the deep. We're just waiting for the final confirmation. Umpire. There it is. He's gone. The Kings now 87 for six. What a piece of fielding that was. Rohit Pelton in the deep. The direct hit run out, you could see Annie decided to come back for two. He'd been critical of the fielding at some points, but that was simply outstanding. We'll be Siddhant Lahani now in at number eight. Siddhant Lahani, no mark with the bat. Can't hit the big ball. It's important he get his eye in. I'm just going to be tip and run. He's happy to get Rajali back on strike. There you go. Brilliant there. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, there was nothing wrong with the running between the wickets. Powdle's fielding and his throw there, absolutely outstanding. Yes, it's straight to the man at cover. We've just praised the fielding. The skipper, he should have taken that. A straightforward miss there by Sharad. And most importantly, a single to uh, the Kings alone as well. A ball here to the end of the, o end of the innings. Get them to something more than 100. Siddhant Lahani looking for the helicopter shot, also looking for a single. <laughs> they come together and they end up hugging on the ground. <laughs> Lovely moment there from Ryan Tendashare. What a star, what a champion of a man he is. Yeah, spirit of cricket, top of the game there. Ryan Tendashare giving his all. Siddhant Lahani diving back to this crease. <laughs> and uh, on top of Ryan Tendashare, quite funny, but no loss lost there. Uh, that was a beautiful moment. You could see he was looking for the run out and they end up lying on top of each other. And what brilliant there. A high five and an embrace. And he was looking for his trademark helicopter shot. Into the slot, heave down the ground. No power from Lahani. Just going to be a single. He's a popular guy, Ryan Tendashadi. Ryan Dennis Carter hails from the Netherlands. He's a professional plays up most in the world. Very experienced campaigner. Giving his all as always. Getting up close and intimate there. Lahani and Tendashare. Such great entertainment this year. The 2018 TVS Everest Premier League. Kings are going to need some late runs though. Two overs to go after this delivery. Oh, and he decides not to throw the ball. Going to be a single, so Rajali will keep the strike. It's 91 for six. Twelve balls left in the Kathmandu Kings innings. And Avanesh Bahar is going to bowl the 19th over. And I suspect we'll probably see Mohammed David bowl the 20th. It's going to be pace at both ends to finish out here. And that might just give Rajali something to work with.
Uh, fast in the seat belts here. Short boundary towards uh, the left side. The far right to from uh, from us uh, from the commentary box. Got to be looking towards maybe 110. Big appeal. Given not out. Top ball crucially. Not giving the limp, which Rajali is after. Brilliant dog, absolutely brilliant. He's got a short run up, Bahara, but he's so accurate. And he hits that Yorker length brilliantly at the end of the innings. Full low, full toss. Head out to the man at deep cover. It's a fumble. So they're not. Uh, possibly could have got back for two. Thought the field of that super cover recovered very well. A brilliant bowling by Bora. Two perfect Yorkers. Not giving the length which Rajali after to go over mid wicket. All along on short boundary to the leg side. Siddharth Lohani, another big hitter. Looks for the scoop. Doesn't get it, but he'll get a single. Almost hit the ball into his own body there. Yeah, Improvisation. That's it, Dalwani, for you. He's a young guy. Can hit the hard ball and the long ball. Should be just, um, you know, trying to hit big rather than going to these fancy shots. Into that short leg side. There's a man at cow corner. They're thinking about coming back for two, a mix up. Oh, the bowlers dropped the ball. They're going to come back for two now. Chaotic scenes, and he will be run out. Absolute chaos between Rajali and Lahani. And Rajali's got to go. Comedy of errors there. This is pathetic cricket from the Kings 11. No communication between the batsmen. And in the end, the important look of Rajali, who has been striking ball really well. Gone for 26. He batted so well on debut, Rajali, our scorer of the innings. But he's going to go for 27 because after a comedy of errors in the running between the wickets, a drop from Avanesh Bahara, he managed to get the throw in. It's 94 for 7. The new batsman coming all the way in at number nine after what can only be deemed as a, a very poor innings when he was batting at number five, Raju Rijal, the wicket keeper. It's that into the offside, cover is quite there. He picks up cleanly, just going to be a single for Rijal. Fantastic over so far by uh, Bora. Very impressive from his from the last few games. He has been the go-to bowler in the death overs for the Gladiators. And Raju Rijal has been uh, out of form the right throughout the season. Mainly playing as a specialized wicket keeper. Coming in at number nine. Yeah, something you don't see too often these days. Keepers usually batting higher up the order, but Rijal's at nine. Hammered down the ground powerfully. Straight to Rohit Powdle, who's been so good in the field. It's going to end the 19th over, 96 for 7. Just one over to go now for the Kathmandu Kings 11. They lost the toss this morning. It was an 11.30 a.m. start. 
And their batting has really struggled throughout. A mini recovery from Pradeep Sahu and Sandi Sandeep Rajali. But with one over to go, they still haven't even crossed the 100 mark. And it's going to be Mohamed David to bowl the final over. Fantastic so far. The last toy we bowled in the middle of the innings. Went for a couple of boundaries. But up top with the new ball. Bowled brilliantly. Coming back to his last over. Yeah, just a little bit of tinkering with the field because Midoff is in the circle and fine leg's going to go back. So the five men out, third man, deep cover, long on, cow corner and fine leg. Four men inside the circle for this final over. I think Lahani's going to try and go over Midoff, I reckon. Big swing and a miss. Yeah, pace, good pace there by Navid. Hurrying it through. And we could keep almost carrier collecting his chest high. It's been real impressive, Navid. Lohani, predominantly a, a leg side player. But uh, with the mid off fielder up, tempting to go over mid off there. Alahani looking for that trademark helicopter shot of his, but he can't get it away. Uh, Mohamed Navid was too quick for them at that time. A leg by there. Experienced campaigner Navid not giving the length for Lohani to swing his arms. Completely missing out. He's definitely been the fastest bowler on show at the 2018 TVS Everest Premier League for me. What do you feel, Farvez? What I've seen from the, uh, all the teams, I, mean, I, I uh, think that Mohamed Navid has been the fastest and most accurate when it comes to the fast bowlers. Bowled in. Brilliant from Navid and too quick for Rijal. Absolutely too quick. Raju Rijal had no idea. Back of the length works again for Mohamed Navid. Let's keep King Sullivan's 8th wicket gone for 97. Outstanding stuff from the Emirati fast bowler. Mohamed David has castled Raju Rijal. Simply too quick for him. Middle stump, both bails. 97 for 8. Going to be Jatendra Mukaya at number one. Another number with the spirit of cricket there. His opponent, Avanesh Bahar, is just helping him with his helmet. Mukia. Mainly, mainly a. I mean, Mohamed Noid must be licking his lips here. David's first wicket of the day. He'll be wondering, can he pick up two more in these final three balls? That was an absolute beauty to bowl Ridge out. Bat on ball from Mukaya. And Lahani, chaos with the running again. Surely he should keep strike. No, they're going to come back for two. Come back for the double. 99 for eight now. A slight misfield by Buban Kaki there. Mohamed Navid not happy. Loving uh, Mukriya to stand for the second run there. Final delivery coming up. Make your pardon, two. Yeah, two balls to go. You can see the crowd in anticipation. They want some boundaries. They want some late runs from the home side. The Kathmandu Kings 11. to the keeper he's had a very poor day what on earth is Siddhant Lahani doing
Don't know what Slohan is thinking there. There's no way of a second run. And shambled through. And no way more to uh, get for that. It was a boy. The keeper's picked And a very good awareness from Ahmed Naveed. Jatendra's not even in the shot. That's the it's 100 for 9. Complete and utter lunacy at the Kurdish International Cricket Ground. Siddhat Lahani, I don't know what he's thinking, to be honest with you, because he's just run a second man out. This time he's run out Jatendra Mukai. And the final man to the wicket's going to be Mohammed Samsad. Hey. Just one ball to go. At least they brought up the three figures for this. A psychology for that, but Siddhat Lahani got disappointed with him. Maybe he would have thought it's the last delivery, maybe miscounted it. <laughs> <laughs> Surely he would have wanted the strike, Lahani, as well. Maybe he didn't want to face Mohammed Naveed. Too quick for him. <laughs> Can be any of those. But. Edged, taken, what a catch that is. He's had a terrible day with the gloves, but he's made up for it there, Pradi Pari. The innings finishes with a wicket off the last ball. Brilliant catch, absolutely brilliant catch by uh, Pradeep Pairi to finish off uh, Kathmandu's innings. Yeah, that was an outstanding grab to finish the innings. Big swing and a diving catch. You could see Lahani was already two thirds of the way down again. But what a closing over from Mohammed Naveed. That's why he's been one of the stars of this tournament. Arguably the quick bowler of the whole thing. And let's see a few of the batting highlights. There wasn't much to cheer, really. Particularly depends on the first six, first six throws in the power play. How well uh, the Kathmandu Kings will go and the amount of wickets uh, they're going to That was the solitary six of the innings. And it was Rajali on debut. It was the top scorer. Sahu batted well for his 25, but there was very little else to shout about. Some completely comical running at times between Lahani, who ran out both Kami, Rajali and Mukaya. And the even 100. There was 10 wickets to fall in the innings. And that was the big one, Rohan Mustafa. He went clean bold, hitting across the line. And how important was this? Two wickets and two balls. That's big fish, Kevin O'Brien. Literally caught there by long on fielder. Mr. Estava mistiming that stock sweep. Call a deep mid wicket. Problem with Young Kings uh, 11, they lost wickets regularly in the and never got momentum. That was Sahu. He was looking for the shorter boundary, but he couldn't clear Ryan Tendashade. We saw one. Unbelievably brilliant piece of fielding from Rowan Powdle to effect one run out. And very unlucky to be back into the team. But then we saw simply shambolic running. A beauty from Mohammed Naveed to clean up Rijal. I, don't, I still don't know how to describe what happened there. I'm out of words. Definitely out of words. They would have loved to have the strike, Luani, but in the end, Shomsad Sami took a part from the shake, was brilliant. Of Mohamed Nabi to finish up that innings. Yeah, Kushal Mala, the star for me. He took three for 20 with his left arm spin. Surprising to see Visakar only bowl the two overs, given he bowled so well. Avadesh Bahara did a super job at the death. And what can we say about Mohamed Naveed? The UAE opening fast bowler. Wonderful spell from him. Two for 20. So the Kathmandu Kings 11. They're going to finish with an even 100. A flurry right towards the end. And the Gladiators are going to need 101 to advance to the grand final on Saturday. Let's find out if they can do it. We'll be back with you in less than 10 minutes.
Right, welcome back to a very sunny afternoon here in Kathmandu. Second innings of the penultimate game of the TVS Everest Premier League. The Kathmandu Kings 11, a disappointing performance with the bat. They only managed the 100 runs and lost all 10 of the wickets. And the Gladiators are out. They're here to chase 101. And what's at stake? A place in the final. Have been joined by Suraj Giri here in the commentary box to take you through the first five overs. Well, it has to be advantage the Gladiators at this point of time. Absolutely. The way the entire unit uh, stepped in and performed, whether that be the runouts, whether that be the early wickets, Pairava Gladiators must feel they've got one foot in the final already. Rohan Mustafa will have other ideas. He's been very successful, especially opening proceedings for uh, the Kathmandu King. Both with the ball and with the bat, Pradeep Airy who was uh, pretty, pretty ordinary today behind the, the wicket. Took a good catch uh, towards the latter part of the innings, but uh, <laughs> he's uh, found some form lately in the TVS Everest Premier League. Man of the match in the last match. 43 runs he scored. <laughs> right, the big question all eyes are going to be on the leg spinner. The sensation that he's been in this tournament, Pradeep Sahu. A triple maiden wicket in his previous game. When is he going to come on to bowl? Oh, oh, beats the outside edge. No turn whatsoever. Goes with the arm. Yeah. Flatter trajectory on that occasion from uh, Rohan Mustafa. <laughs> Guided down the ground for a single. Pradeep Perry gets off the mark. Ryan Tindoshate is out there batting with him. And he'll be facing his first ball. The idea would just be to bat through the 20 overs and uh, they should reach there with ease. No use hurrying. Yeah, they know they have the overs. They have the wickets in hand. They just got to keep playing. Singles will do, doubles will do. They don't want to try anything out of the ordinary, the gladiators. Ow! Ow! Oh, full pitch delivery almost yoked himself with Ryan Tendiscata. Good first over from the captain. Just one for no loss at the end of the first over. Well, it didn't take too long. I'm not too sure if Rohan Mustafa heard us here in the commentary box. Comes their star bowler. Nine wickets. An economy rate of just six. But I'll tell you something. He's done more damage than what the numbers suggest. He has been quite unplayable, especially in the last couple of games that he's played. Can he repeat his magic today in the all-important virtual semi-final here? Yep, no Sompal, no Kevin O'Brien, no Jitendra Mukhya. It's going to be Pradeep Sahu. Against uh, the other Pradeep, Pradeep Airy. Both of them in good form. This is going to be an interesting battle. A long off-fielder. Pitched full, no run there. Yeah, it was Kevin O'Brien and Ron Mustafa that opened the bowling in the previous game. But they're bringing Pradeep Sahu on in just the second over. Down the leg side. Looked for that expansive sweep shot. Didn't make good connection though. Just the single. Leg by signal though. One thing for sure, if the Kathmandu Kings 11 are uh, going to pose a threat and uh, defend this target of 101, then their fielding has to be spot on. One of the better fielding sides, Kathmandu Kings 11. The other sides have been pretty ordinary to bring out their best.
slightly on the shorter side. Tucked away. Side for a single. Spider Gladiators don't need to take any extra risks. So that is why uh, they'll be happy just seeing off uh, Sahu. Picking just ones and twos off uh, the good deliveries. Not attacking him. Not giving him that opportunity. Sensible stuff. Quick single taken. Tendis Carter missed out in the last game. He would love to make amends here. Push that throw that Pradeep Sahu definitely going down leg. Easy decision for the umpire as well. Monumental collapse for the Kings 11 at the latter half of their innings. Run outs galore. Very ordinary. Culprit Siddhant Lohani got three batsmen out. Good delivery to finish. Dot ball. Parva Gladiators at the end of two are four without loss. Right, a sedate, cautious start here by the Gladiators. Just the four of the first two overs. And the captain continues. Pushes it on the leg side for a single. Keep pushing the singles. Keep getting the doubles. That's all they have to do. They don't need to get the boundaries and the sixes. They will come when they have to. Nothing out of the ordinary. That's all they're going to keep telling themselves. And while I say that, Ryan Tendaskata gets one away over the infield and four runs for the Dutchman. Yeah, he's not going to hold. Shoot, it was wide, pitched full. And a uh, good looking shot that from Ryan Tendaskata. They'll give him some confidence. Well, not sure with taking the aerial route. That's a better line from uh, Mustafa. You can't give him any width. Tendo Shade is a very good player on the offside. Good running. It was that one over in the first innings where Kushal Malla got those two wickets in two deliveries, and one of it being the big man Kevin O'Brien. Definitely the game changer for me in this game. Well, he was a game changer yesterday. He's a game changer. He could be the game changer today. Yep, but uh, I'll have to say, and I've needed some uh, pretty ordinary choices in shot making from the king. Running between the wickets. So it's ordinary, and uh, as I say that, running between the wickets is ordinary between these two lads as well. And Ryan Tendo Shate and Pradeep Airy, the man in form, will have to. There's some confusion out there in the middle. Complete disbelief, to be honest. I can't believe what's happening and what we're seeing. Runouts galore in the first. Day. Complete mayhem in the center here. Pradeep Airy goes back to the dugout. Three overs completed. It's 10 for 1. Well, the comedy of errors then, and uh, guess what? The fielder who's run them out is Siddhant Lohari. He seems to be a master of running people out with the batting on <laughs> the field. Well, anyone this time on the field, creating a run out. Got to redeem the Siddhant Lohani.
And a change in the bowling from the pavilion end. It's the Irishman, Kevin O'Brien. Can he do some damage with the ball? Surely he would want to get this big one. The wicket is scattered. Successful with his bowling so far this season. And a very good start. Good line and good length. Wait for the batsman to... Nine wickets so far. One of the leading wicket takers this season. And have a look at that for an economy rate. You would take that any day of the week in the T20. And he's been the go-to bowler for Rohan Mustafa this season. Excellent fielding in the deep there. For a moment I thought that the ball was going to reach the fence, but a diving deep square leg fielder prevented that. Have a look at that. 100% for effort. It's the rope though. The umpire's happy with it. Excellent. This is what you want to see. Top quality running between the wickets. Ryan Tenderskata quick to push Mohamed Sheikh there. Comes back comfortably for two runs. And it was funny that we saw so many runouts when we were in the commentary box earlier on in the first inning, Suraj. The running between the wickets in the top order was outstanding. Rohan Mustafa leading the way. And towards the latter end, it was the complete opposite and misunderstanding almost every other ball so we've seen both sides oh too close there for Ryan Tendiskata you don't want to be taking too many risky singles they don't need to but we saw spectrum in terms of running between the wickets in the first innings the new batsman for the gladiators Mohamed Arif Sheikh has been struggling for some form in the, the EPL T20. But um, he's a class act. Arif Sheikh, regular in the Nepali national team as well. Very young. In fact, both the Sheikh brothers, Arif and Asif Sheikh. Asif Sheikh, of course, out of the equation this year with Biratnagar Warriors not qualifying for the playoffs. He was a star with the battle last year for the Bhairava Gladiators, Arif Sheikh. And this is a perfect situation for him. When he doesn't have to accelerate, he can just play around, play his normal game, build into it. Arif Sheikh will enjoy this opportunity. And He's going to hand over the ball to someone else. He gets the cap back from the umpire. So last minute change from the captain. Sahu is going to be bowling from the far end now. A change of end for their leg spinning sensation. It's going to be Pradeep Sahu to Ryan Tendiskata. Oh, fascinating contest. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting battle between the both. Pradeep Sahu, obviously, the go to bowler. And uh, Ryan Tendoishate um, has uh, batted decently so far 11 runs of 12 deliveries. Sometimes. Just tucks it away on the leg side. Uh, good running between the wickets. Was quick to get off the marks, Mohamed Sheikh, and made it in time. Yeah. It tell you he could have been in trouble. This is uh, Pradeep Sau's spell against Lalitpur Patriots. Three wickets. The batsman had no clue where the ball was going to go. Needs to produce a similar effort if they are to defend this target today, Pradeep Sahu. Arif Sheikh facing now, there is change in the field. Come on, last, come on, yeah. Mid wicket comes in, deep square leg goes back.
Oh, trying to cut that ball away. Adil Sheikh is normally a very good player of the spin ball. Oh, some turn and bounce. Pradeep Sau. It's a mystery spinner so far. Look at that. Oh, vicious turn and bounce. Indian leg spinner. This is exactly what the Kings 11 want. Easy one, easy. Fantastic shot. Confident looking sweep shot. And mind you, it's a high-risk shot playing the sweep shot against the leg spinner. But he struck that right out of the meat of the bat. Well, they'll need wickets. Come on, the Kings 11 side sooner than later. They bat through 20 overs and uh, this is game over for Kathmandu Kings 11. Yeah, you are in for the batsman to just take it away. He would want to keep it fuller, get all the assistance he can and bounce that he's looking for. But the moment you drop shot, you're going to give that extra bit of time for the batsman to just work it away. So you can't allow them to take singles and rotate the strike. Release the pressure. Oh, that one came in. That was the wrong one. Pradeep Sao, five done then. Five gladiators are 18 for one. All right, 18 for one at the end of five overs and Kevin O'Brien to continue with his second over from the pavilion and then a change in the commentary box to take it through from six to ten. I once again hand it over to Andrew Leonard and Farvez Maruf. Yeah, thank you, Dav. How important is Kevin O'Brien's spell going to be here, Farvez? He failed with the bat. He's going to need to show his worth with the ball now. Yeah, Kevin O'Brien's four overs will be very handy, along with Sahu and Mustafa, the, the three uh, front line bowlers for Kings 11. All three foreign players, they've been dominating right throughout for the uh, Kings 11. And also for the Gladiators, Ryan Tindaskar, the wicket, is very important. Down the track from Tendashari, off the outside edge, third man's in the circle. It's a very streaky boundary, but it's a boundary four. Outside it, Ranton has got trying to go uh, extra color. The all five fielders in the offside is in the ring. It's still in the power play. And that's an easy boundary for Ranton has got. Interesting move to put Tendashade up the order to open. By his high standards, he hasn't been in touch. Trying to hit himself into form. Clipped off his hip, it's going to be back to back boundaries. O'Brien paying the price for having fine leg and third man in the circle. Much needed uh, boundary for the gladiators. Thought the five first survive over the Kings 11. Bad really well to uh, restrict the gladiators as we see Kevin O'Brien earning the line and with fine legging up, getting a small outside edge. That's a boundary there. Cut this time, they look for the quick single, direct it, could be close. Misses, it's the big Indian leg spinner. Sahu, would a direct hit have been out? Well, the feeling side needs those, a brilliant catch, a brilliant uh, run out. It's the order of the day for the Kings. It's a defending a moderate score of just 101. Anton Escata, so far really well, 22 of 18.
Another quick single. And a fumble in the field means they'll get through. Kings need early wickets, Farvez. Absolutely. And those little misfielding doesn't help the cause for the Kings. Now Ryan Tenderskar, as we know, a quick run up between the wickets. Always looking to see, looking for singles. Just creeping it through. Important last delivery coming up for Kevin. Already gone for a couple of boundaries in this over. To end the track again from Tendashari. It'll be a single to end the power play. The score is 29 for 1. Just seeing a few of the highlights here on your screen of the power play. This was the run out. It was a mix up. It was, we've seen some chaotic stuff today. No more so than that. And Tendo sold him down the river. Yes, some of the running between goods has been uh, comical, to say the least. And uh, so far, Gladiators well on their way. This the uh, final, which is on Saturday. Against the for for, uh, for Kings to have any chance, I think uh, Sahu. It's going to be very key for them. He's going to be handy in this wicket. He needs to attack. And Skipper Rohan Mustafa should get in uh, some feelers in. Just try to put some pressure on Ryan Tenniska. And attempt him for a big shot and try and get his wicket. Yeah, they need that wicket of Tendashari. There's no doubt about that. Pradeep Sahu. Two overs. Just six gone in the game. He's going to bowl his third now. Bowled a magnificent spell in the first eliminator, the first playoff match. Absolutely did. He's been a pick off the bowlers uh, in the Everest Premier League in 2018. And uh, the next 11 deliveries what's uh, in Sao's disposal. I think it's going to be uh, the make or break for the Kings 11. The only the attack as well, Kevin O'Brien from short third man coming into the uh, first slip area. Easy. Hit down the ground again. Good batting. I like that. I like to see the slip in though with the ball turning away from the bat. Absolutely. Good uh, captaincy by uh, Rohan Mustafa. Oh Getting the uh, deep oh mid wicket yeah, yeah, in field to the short mid wicket. And also the uh, mid off fielder up. Another change here for Anton Escarta. Deep mid wicket comes into the uh, ring. Got five fielders uh, saving the single. Happy just to work the singles, Tendashari. He said the pitches have been tricky to bat on at points. Just trying to dig in here. Showing all his class and experience there, Ryan. Just after the power play, trying to build the singles. He knows that he's not a big target. His wicket's going to be very key. Long with the moment shake. It looks steady. Oh. Nicely bowled by Sahu. You can see how important Tendashari is. He's got 25 out of the 32 runs scored so far. He's been more dominating in these innings. And also, these two bats were not taking unnecessary risk against Sahu. Understanding the fact that he is the uh, key bowler for them. Uh -huh. Nicely bowled and shake watchful. The Gladiators probably thinking if we can get through these four overs of Sahu, even if they only go for 12 or 13 runs, it doesn't matter. we kept him wicketless. Yeah, wicket column is going to be key for King Eleven of Sahu. Like they've still got Mohamed uh, some shots sake, big pardon. And Jitendra Mukia to come with the attack. I believe Sopal Kam is not going to bowl. Short, very clever batting. It's going to end the seventh over. It's 33 for one.
Going to be spin from both ends now for the Kings 11. Kevin O'Brien taken out of the tack. And in comes Mohamed Samsad Sheikh with his left arm spin. Down to Kevin O'Brien at long on, just a single. The required run rate is never going to really be an issue in this innings. And also, the two left arm spinners for this did a wonderful job picking up because as well as containing lots of response when take the lone left arm spinner. Quick single. Point quite deep there, so they're going to get through for one. Now, what could uh, Rohan Mustafa could do is get the uh, inner ring fielder to, to cut off the singles. There's been too many easy singles in the ring. Yeah, point is very deep and you can actually see him being brought, brought in tighter now. Short, poor start from Sheikh, not finding his length yet. Esquire Amish, right, trying to uh, trying to fire it through. We saw the other way around with the Balbla gladiator spinners. They were just trying to bully slow. Ah! Uh, appeal given. Was that a little bit? The second wicket falls. Uh, looked out for me from the com box. Interesting replay to see. Straight, just going with the arm. Yeah, he's not a big turner of the ball. Stretch, Mohamed Samsad Sheikh. We can see here, it pitched on. Wasn't too high, was it? It's been given out, it doesn't matter. That's the second wicket. It's 35 for two. Raviendra Singh, the tournament leading run scorer, stylish Indian. He failed yesterday. He made just four, but look at those numbers 277 runs strike rate well over 150 and what an average yeah Ravindra is the only centurion in the tournament 30 roll uh, from India experienced campaigner for Kings to have uh, any hope of winning this game I think these two guys in the middle now Tender Scott and Ravinder Singh are the big fishes for them Ahmed Sansad Sheikh, he's going to operate around the wicket to the left-hander with his left arm spin. Short, cut away, but there's a man at deep point. Interesting fielding position. Yeah, giving cushion of uh, having the deep score leg uh, fielder. There we go, Ravindra Singh. We're seeing the highlights of that historic innings of 125 off 60 balls. There were all sorts of records broken that day. You can see him Punching the sky, he smashed one into the commentary box in front of us here. Such a powerful hitter, the left-hander. Uh -huh. <laughs> batting by Ryan Tendashada. He doesn't get flustered. It's a single to end the eighth over. It's 37 for two. Tender Shade continuing to run hard. There could have been a chance for two there. A little bit of a fumble in the outfield. It's Rohan Mustafa. I'd say probably primarily to try and get the wicket of the 
A good call there by Ron Mustafa to bring himself in to Ravinder Singh. Being a uh, left-hander, Ron Mustafa will fancy to uh, try and get uh, Ravinder Singh out. There is a Kavina Bryan from short fine leg coming into the first slip uh, position. Yeah, good attacking captaincy from Mustafa. He knows he has to get this wicket to start dragging his side back into the game. The required run rate, just five and over. Beauty. That's beautifully bowled. He jumps in anticipation. How close is that to the outside edge? A beautiful start by Rohan. Beautiful start. Just going to quickly get around to Navneet. He's with Amir Akhtar. Well, thank you, Andrew. Someone who needs no introduction, I'm delighted to have the founder and the managing director of the TVS Everest Premier League, Mr. Amir Akhtar. You must be a very man with what you're seeing over the last two weeks. Oh, yes, yes. Very happy, very satisfied, but... Yeah, a lot of things that we can do much on a bigger scale. If there's one thing to highlight from the last two weeks, what would that be? Uh, definitely the, the quality of cricket that we have actually um, maintained right from the day one. And I'm quite thrilled to see the Nepali cricketers and especially from the talent hunt. Um, the players have started, those talent hunt players have started getting the chances to play in the first 11. And they've been doing well. So what we saw at the Pokhara Rhinos, you know, getting their talent hunt to play in the first 11. Um, of course, he had a tough day and too much to ask for. Right from Lalitpur Patriots, you know, coming up with the talent hunt program uh, to Bhairava, you know, making their talent hunt to play. For me, that's more heartening, you know, as a cricketer. And this is what EPL actually wanted to bring new heroes, uh, the young heroes, you know, uh, uh, through, through our platform. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with that reason. Thank you. You spoke about the cricket in first of all, so that's really important. Apart from the cricket, just putting a tournament of this stature is not an easy task. Walk us through that journey. Yeah, it's been tough. Um, um, it's, sort of about, it's more about um, managing people, um, the people's expectations, uh, the pressure that we go through, and you have to take care of every detail. I mean, nothing can be taken for a ride uh, in an event like this, uh, right from players, to sponsors, to owners, to groundsmen, or the security, the media. So you know, no one be yeah, no no one can be taken for for a granted. So that's 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 the pressure that we actually all have it. But so far, I think we've been able to manage it. One last question: What can we expect in 2019? Um, see, I mean, um, uh, whatever we have done from last three years, I mean, we would like to capitalize that, and uh, uh, we would like to make it much much bigger. I would say. Uh, we would like to capitalize on the strength that we have worked on and probably the things which couldn't be sought out this year. Um, we would like to work on those areas. But yeah, n nothing rocket science, but those are like more um, uh, stronger areas that we need to work on. Well, we're very happy that you got the world of cricket to Nepal here and we look forward to seeing the I EPL again next year. Yeah, great to hear from the league owner and managing director, Mr. Amir Akhtar there. What a tournament it's been this season. The TVS Everest Premier League. And while Nav was chatting to Amir, we had a huge moment in the game because Ravi Indra Singh was dropped by Raju Rijal. Big, big uh, chance missed by the King Silver one. Regulation chance missed by Raju. Ten, ten the shot, a continuing to tick. He's 30 off 27. And such clever batting, just finding the gap, dropping it down, looking to run to a misfield. That's terrible stuff from Sahu, giving away unnecessary runs. Yeah, terrible stuff uh, there by Sahu. And also mostly the uh, overall feeling of King, Kings Eleven. A bit pathetic. If you need to win the game, you need to uh, make sure that they don't give those easy singles. Reverse sweep. Gets it away. And Sahu, after giving away a run, he saves three there with an outstretched left hand. A good bet in there by Ryan. Playing with the fill. As soon as he saw that big gap, tried to go for that uh, reverse slap. Fortunately for him, 
Sahu managed to get the finger and keeps it down to a single. Hit into the sky towards the man. Alon Rani runs around. Dropped! Mukara looks into the sky. I think he's blaming the sun. That was a sitter and it runs away for four. Did he miss, just miss the game? Big bit of Ravinder Singh. Straightforward chance to Mukaya. See the replay there. For the second time in two overs, they've dropped Ravinder Singh. And it's gone for a bounce. The halfway stage, it's 49 for two. Halfway through the chase here in the semi final to decide who's going to go to the grand final. An interesting stuff from Rohan Mustafa. He's giving Ravi Indra Singh a warning for backing up too far. Aye, aye, aye. We've just seen Ravi Indra Singh, the tournament's leading run scorer, dropped for the second time in two overs. How many life can he have? Too easy. Catches dropped one by the wicket keeper Raju Rizal and then at long on Jidendra Mukhya forward catch. Ah, beautiful batting. Using the pace on the ball from Mustafa to run it down. There's a vacant third man region. Runs. Clever batting there by Ravindra Singh. Using all the pace Mustafa offers. Gliding pass Kevin O'Brien at slip for an important bound for the gladiators as they get the momentum. Chasing this goal. Come on. Aye. Cut away to the man in the deep. He's got to get moving. Time for two for Ravi Indra Singh. The catch that went to Rijal came quickly, but the one at long arm surely should have been taken by Mukaya. Yeah, Mukaya, the fast bowler. Not in the game yet, fast ball and didn't bowl a single over, but that's what his chance. Completely displacing it. Aye, aye, aye. Very clever batting by Ravi Indra Singh getting the single. There is a low sun, but surely this has to be taken. And yeah, no excuses. Aye, aye, aye. Definitely no excuse in this at this level. Jitan Mukhe never to, to be honest, never seemed to be comfortable under that. Got to get your best fielders in the crucial positions. That's what they didn't do because Mukaya was at long arm. He hit it almost straight down his throat and it burst through his hands and ran away for a boundary. And with it, have the King's chances in this tournament gone? Reverse sweep again from Tendashari. That's going to end the 11th over. It's 58 for two. That's the Gladiators card. Ryan Tendashade is batting serenely. He's on 35 off 32 balls. But Ravi Indra Singh has been dropped twice in two overs. The form that he's in. Surely no way back for the Kings now. Got to break this partnership. That's a glorious shot. Beats the man in the deep, a deep corner be a boundary for. Passing at the short extra goal field, Son Pal coming, had no chance, even the sweeper cover. At the deep point, had no chance. And a beautiful shot there. Ryan Tendashade looks like he's of the pit. Come on, Shamshad!
easy, the Dutchman. Short behind square in the deep, protecting that short boundary. Be a single. Uh, this has been the problem for the uh, Kings Eleven. The, the, the local Nepali bowlers haven't been up to the mark. Whereas the gladiator spinners, the local Nepali spinners, for a handful today. Some such sake. Bit unlucky as well. Top getting uh, topped uh, Ravinder Singh at long on. Cut away powerfully and gracefully by Ravinder Singh. A desperate dive. It's a good stop from Sidant Lahani. I'll get back for two. The run's really starting to flow now. A fantastic stop there by Siddharth. Brilliant effort. Cutting off two runs. Mamad Samsad say. Pulling round Amash. See the replay there. Fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. They just can't build any pressure, the Kings. The runs are flowing. And it's now just four and over they require. And with the way the Tendashade is batting, the Gladiators could be gliding into the final here. Ah, yo. Super stuff from Tendashade. He keeps the singles coming. What can the Kings do here for Vez? Hold on to those catches <laughs> to start with. To at least thinking of winning a game. You've got to do the basic stride which they've been lacking. The simple errors have costed them barely. Whereas the Gladiators have been absolutely brilliant today. Hit into the leg side. Wide of the man in the deep. And that's going to soar. For a boundary four, one bounce. Looked like from our box, looks a brown break, but a brilliant shot there by Ravinder Singh, picking up that gap at deep mid wicket, bisecting it very easily. Glorious shot for Ravinder Singh, it's hit the rope of the full, it's going to be six. End of the 12th over, it's 73 for 2. Six number 190 of the 2018 TVS Evers Premier League. And in the last roll of the dice, it's going to be Pradeep Sahu to bowl his legs pin. His final over. Sahu has been really impressive, just giving away nine runs of his three overs. And his last over, pretty sure that these two batsmen won't take much chances. Brilliant from Tendashade. He's been a superstar this innings. One bounce from this game is ending in a hurry. It's Sahu dragging it down. Rare bad delivery from Sahu. Ryan Tendashade doesn't have to have second irritation. Smashing it uh, towards the mid wicket boundary. Almost taking out leaders out. Yeah, wonderful batting from Ryan Tendashade. It was always going to be a matter of time until he got going. Sweat this time towards the man at fine leg. He takes the catch just as we were talking. Goes for a brilliant 45 and with it, just 24 more needed to win. Yeah, unlucky there, Anton Descartes. Finding that shot, fine leg fielder. Inch that would have been four runs. They go to the replay there. Definitely the shot was on. Ball was pitching out. So next time, getting a top edge. See, the Gladiators losing their third wicket.
It'll be the skipper to the wicket. He's coming in at number five. Played a few crucial little cameos this tournament. Probably he hasn't got the weight of runs that he would have liked. But he hasn't needed to because the tournament's leading run. Ravi Indra Singh is doing it. Wonderful knock from their other overseas player, Ryan Tendashata. He's gone for 45. Sahu has a wicket, but he's only got three balls left. Three very important deliveries for the uh, King Silliman. If he manages to uh, take a wicket from here, he may have a game, but uh, Ravinder Singh don't think he'll take much risk. Just three days ago. Ah! Nicely bowled by Sahu, but... Indrasing gets off strike with a single. You can never rule anything out in this Everest Premier League, but surely with just 23 to win, three and over, seven wickets in hand, the Gladiators are already thinking about the final on Saturday. And they're almost home, but Thank you. You know, cricket is a funny game. You have seen it, experienced it. Definitely think that Sao's two oh deliveries. Guys, if on, could yeah. Pick up a wicket. They might have a sniff. Oh. Yeah, the big crowd subdued here. They want to see late drama. Ayo, ayo, ayo. Quick single. Gets home comfortably. Mukaya not on his toes. He's not had a good day. No, definitely not. <laughs> Was run out by Siddharth Loni. Siddharth Mukia. Dropped him in a, a very crucial catch at long on. And haven't bowled a single over yet. Been a barely been a passenger today, Mukia. Indra Singh dropped when he was on two and three. He's now got 24 off 14. Aye, aye. That's going to end Sahu's spell. He did get away. It's 79 for three. Fifth bowl of the innings, just four years so far by the Kathmandu Kings. And for the first time that I can remember in this tournament, Sidon Lahani's going to have a. Trusting Mukaya with the ball. Spin is all the order of the day. Lohani, uh, a part time spinner, leg spinner, bowls Googly as well. Seen him bowl last year by myself. Surprised that uh, the fastballs haven't been used. Maybe a blower. <laughs> Interesting action from Lahani. Are you surprised to see Bikram boost out of the team today, the leg break bowler? Yeah, they left a batsman. Uh, they, they got a batsman in then, uh, Busal. It's been really hot and cold. Ah, yo. Nicely driven by Vasaka down the ground to Mukaya, who has surprisingly not had a bowl yet. Don't think he will get either after the drop catch, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Rohan Mustafa, not a happy man. Yeah, he's in the with the captain, Rohan Mustafa. No. And I suspect Ravi Indra Singh is going to try and feast on the part time leg breaks so of Siddhant Mahani here. Very loose stuff from Lahani. Don't really know what the Kings are thinking here. And they're throwing the last dice of the wicket. Trying to force throw wicket is nowhere. Hammered into the offside. That's going to be an easy boundary for. This is poor stuff. For and I think we're seeing the last right of the Kathmandu Kings in the 2018 Everest Premier League. Yeah, pretty average. Brilliant shot there by Ravinder Singh. Over extra cover. Not the best, not the easiest shot in uh, the cricket manual. Going over. Extra cover. And round the wicket now, Lahani. Easy one, easy. Poor stuff continues, and you see the body language 
of the captain, Rohan Mustafa. It slipped there, standing completely upright as the ball's delivered. His head is in his hands. Don't like to see that in the field, to be honest, uh, being a professional myself. Don't like to see them. Look at the body language of Rohan Mustafa. It slipped. It's a bad example for the entire team and the entire franchise. I mean, you shouldn't do that. Know that... Uh, as the cricket manual says, always keep fighting till the end. You never know. He must be devastated. The Kathmandu Kings captain promised this season. That's better from Lahani. Driven into the offside. A single. And a campaign that showed so much promise. Ireland's Kevin O'Brien, so impressive. But not today. He went for a first ball duck. Kings are going to go out with a whimper here, just 13 to win. That's a glorious shot from Ravi Indra Singh. A good stop on the boundary. I'm going to get back for two. That ends the 14th over. It's 90 for three. It's a sunny day here in Kathmandu. You can see the Everest Premier League trophy in the background. And that trophy is going to go to either the Barawa Gladiators or the Lalapur Patriots because with just 11 to win, surely the Gladiators are going to see it home here now. full length ball yeah I'm mean, disappointed how they the thing is I mean cricket is about win or lose but how you lose it to give it a fight you lose you can hold your heads high but not with King King Saloon today yeah they're going to be really disappointed with their efforts and you have to admire the batting of Ryan Tendashade and Ravi Indra Singh but the bowling hasn't been great yeah it's been a mediocre and also if I say that uh the gladiators uh, are much, much deserved to win than the uh, King Hillaban. I think I'm right, uh, Andrew, and I'm pretty sure that you'll agree with me as well. From the ball one, they showed their intent, whereas the King Hillaban found wanting. Yeah, you're spot on. Impressive stuff from the gladiators today. They had a bit of a stutter in the group stages because they won their first three, then they lost their next two. They looked dead and buried yesterday, but Kushal Mala... Rowett Powell got them over the line against the Chitwan Tigers and that momentum they've taken into today. Uh, that's exactly what the Nepali players have bought into the Bible Gladiators. Whereas the Kings 11 and the Nepali players have been disappointing, very inconsistent. Yeah. Down it. the ground, we're going to end with a flourish here. Or are we? That's out. Looked like it was going to soar for six. Is there a late twist in the tail as Lahani takes the catch? Yeah, Robin the scene. Trying to finish in style. A long off field, Siddharth Loni. A good fielder there, not missing out on that. So the Bairwa Gladiators losing their fourth wicket for 91. Just 10 runs to get. Shows the importance of putting your good fielders into the crucial positions. If that catch of Ravi Indra Singh was taken about 45 runs ago, we might have had a hell of a... But Siddharth Lahani, he was at long off. I thought it might have soared for six, but he takes the catch. It's 91 for four. Ten runs required to win. And it's one today who comes to the crease. Such an impressive partnership he formed with Kushal Mala. 17 years old. Single to end the 15th over. It's 94.
Nine runs required off the final five overs. Can Sharad Visakar hit the winning runs? It's going to be Kevin O'Brien, a big Irishman. He's had a great tournament. One of the stars of the 2018 TVS Everest Premier League with bat and ball. He failed today with the bat. And as he fell for a first ball duck, perhaps the King's chances went with him. Kevin O'Brien into the attack. Nine runs to get. It's a mir big miracle to uh, change this fortune of this game. As you see, the last wicket, Siddharth Lani. Sprinting it from uh, long off boundary. T took it safely. Yeah, good reward for Shake. That he's finished with two for 30. Tight stuff from O'Brien. They'll get away for a single. He's going to be absolutely gutted, Kevin O'Brien. He's given so much to this tournament. The crowd have really taken him in. He's become one of the heroes amongst the local fans, but he just couldn't get it done today. Yeah, he's been. Uh Inspiration the last few games, unfortunately, couldn't get going today. And Powdell can take his time because, unlike yesterday, with five overs to go, and they needed 47, you see the captain there, Rohan Mustafa. Yeah, pretty disappointing with his body language overall in the field. As he look, looked at him closely, the last two deliveries. He hasn't been walking up at least when the ball is coming up. That's that's not a good sign, being a captain, being international. Got to be better than that. He looks devastated, Rohan Mustafa. And I just wonder the sort of space that he's in now. You need your captain to lead from the front. It's all about body language, Andrew, at this level. I, I played at, at the highest level. And I'm telling you, it's all about body language. That's how we've been brought up. And unfortunately, some of these players, those are the little things they've got to learn if they want to be professionals and be successful in this profession. Nicely played off the face of the bat down to third man. They're going to be content to take their time to do this the gladiators they know they're going to the final yeah, Kevin O'Brien trying to uh, surprise the batsman with the bouncer and getting up there at least he's trying he's trying something got to admit that that's what you like to see from outside especially be especially watching as an ex-cricketer that's what you like to see fight till the end don't give it up clip to Mustafa who picks up it's going to end the 16th over. It's 96 for four. There's the crowd and who are they going to be cheering for? In the grand final on Saturday, the 22nd of December, here at the Kurdapur International Cricket Ground. I cannot wait for Saturday because this ground is going to be packed. Saturday's the weekend. We've got the Nepal Idol final tomorrow. We've got the grand final of EPL on Saturday. Siddhant Lahani to bowl his leg breaks. It could be the final over of the game. Looks like. Five runs to get. Five more degrees coming up in this over. The beauty from Lahani and the umpire is going to go upstairs. Check for the stumping. Good work from Roger Rigel. Nothing wrong with the front foot from Lahani. It was a real beauty. He did paddle in the flight in the air. His back foot slid out. Did he just get it back? Just in the nick of time, I think, Andrew. Should be home. Should be the green light called by the third umpire. 
Yeah, good decision by the third umpire. Correctly given not out, but nice to see Lahani finding his range after a difficult first over for him. Nice guide and nice flight by Lohani after that first over. Get the right pace for this wicket. Fuller driven into the offside. Good stop in the deep. They're going to come back for two, though, so now just three to win. A good run in there. They ran one for the throw. Amish Shrestava doesn't have a, a powerful arm from the deep. Brilliant running by, uh, by the Gladiators. Yeah, we saw Shrestra's throw came in so weakly when a run out would have got the Kings to the final in that final ball thriller against the Lalapur Patriots. It's going to be a case of what could have been for the Kings because they're going out here. As we watch the last rights of their campaign for 2018. It's a respectable third place. The last year, last year they were fifth place. <laughs> Nicely bowled again by Lahani, getting good turn. Showing his skills. Hammered over the offside, that's going to do it. And how fitting that it's Rohit Powder who hits the winning runs because he was inspirational yesterday with Kushal Mala. He's the only reason the Gladiators got here to this semi final. And the Barrowa Gladiators, they're going to go and play the Lalapur Patriots in the 2018 TVS Everest Premier League Grand Final. These are winners, the Gladiators, from the ball one, short intent, showed how hungry they are to get to the finals. And definitely the King Silver one lacked that intensity and definitely lacked that uh, momentum coming into this game. Losing the final game uh, they played against the Patriots. Whereas the Gladiators came off a brilliant win yesterday and continued that form in today and comprehensively beating the King Silver one. Yeah, nice to see, as always, the camaraderie between the sides. Shaking hands, that was it. It was tossed up. And Robert Powell said, thank you very much. That'll do for me. I'll hammer that one away for four. The offside. And the Kathmandu Kings, they're going home. Mustafa going home with a dab. Now, overall, of the commitment, uh, Gladys so much hungry, as I said before. And got the work cut out, at least for the next season. Let's take a look at some of the batting highlights here for Avez. It's all about Ryan Tendershade. What an innings that was from him. Crucial moment. Ravi Indra Singh dropped. And ran away for four. As soon as that catch went down, look at went the King's chances. He was brilliant in the field earlier. You can see sheer for the Gladiators. Because they're going to the grand final. Ryan Tendashade with 45. Ravi Indrasing with 31. Of just 19 balls. They made it look like a different pitch to the ones that the Kings batted on. There's just four wickets to fall. These were the four. Yeah. It's been a run out, Dave. That's the fourth run out for the third match today. Hiree. And an unlucky uh, decision that Gary is there. Whatever I thought it was a bit, a bit too high. Yeah, Tendashare fell to the sweep just when he was looking for all money like he was going to see them home. And Ravi Interesting tried to end it with a but he was caught out by Siddhant Lahan. He had a good day in the field. So it's the Barawa Gladiators. They're going to the grand final. We're going to be back with a post-match presentation after the
macet sampai Bali. <laughs> Mic testing, check. One, two, three, four, check, check. It was an exciting game today, but what's more exciting is that I have the mega star of the Nepali film industry, the suave, the handsome, the gentleman, Rajesh Amal. Rajesh sir, thank you so much for joining us. You know, cricket and media and entertainment fields, have the lines have been blurred in right. the coming days. Right. I mean, in the recent times, you, you see there's so much entertainment even in cricket. Right. What is your take on it? No, it's, I'm, I mean, as, a, as an audience, I'm absolutely delighted that, you know, entertainment factor has also come into sports because, you know, it's like a win-win situation. Uh, you get to enjoy the sports and in between you also are being entertained. So there's a lively atmosphere. I just noticed this today, you know. I've been on a cricket field. I must uh, confess that after a long time. And the kind of vibration I saw and witnessed uh, today was absolutely amazing. It was not just uh, the uh, gentlemen who were playing uh, cricket, but the whole atmosphere around it, the music, the dance, and the audience reacting to it. Yeah, great idea. Right. Um, you know, um, cricket, it's an upcoming sport in Nepal. There's so much um, now attention that's been given to cricket. but other sports they're not uh, really like paid so much attention to and this uh, an event like the TVS Everest Premier League is such a big opportunity for local Nepali players to kind of mingle with the international players they get to learn so much don't you think other sports also should be encouraged that way Oh, definitely. I, th I think so, because, you know, like, there are other sports which is sort of lacking behind. Uh, but, you know, like you say, you know, at least uh, we have cricket, which is coming up, which is a gr great news, you know, and I'm sure the other teams, other uh, sports will also pick up with time. Uh, but I'm absolutely delighted that cricket in Nepal is doing so well, you know. Uh, the world is meeting Nepali cricket with this kind of a uh, league going on, EPL League. And um, my, I must also, another confession that I must make is that, you know, my, I'm a late bloomer in, in cricket. Uh, my interest in cricket has actually just taken off, has soared recently. Once the Nepali team has started shining so much in the recent years, my interest and my involvement has sort of like soared up as well. Uh, so it's a great, great news for cricket and great news for cricket enthusiasts and also for people like me, you know, who uh, the cricket has pulled into. And I'm hooked now, you know. Uh, the Nepali teams are doing well, and then we have EPL, which is such an exciting event, you know. The world cricketers coming in here, playing with the Nepali team, they gaining the experience. The world cricketers are learning about the country and the people around here. It's great. All right, sir. Thank you so much for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you even in the finals then. Great. And, um, yes, everybody uh, watch EPL. EPL is... Uh, a really nice for, uh, sports enthusiast, especially cricket enthusiast, and I wish all the best for EPL and the winning team. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Let's take a picture. And now, the, now we're wrapping this up and it's on to the presentation ceremony.
Check one, check one. Check one. Check one. How much time? Check one. One, two. We started with six teams and then we came down to four and now we're down to the final two. A remarkable all-round performance by the Gladiators means it's going to be a Patriots versus Gladiators final in the TVS Everest Premier League. Welcome to the post-match presentation. I'm going to introduce the party to my left, Shri Priya Ranjan, Chief Financial Officer, Nepal SBI Bank. Mr. Deepak Agarwal, Vice President of Jagdamba Motors and the Family Oil Game Changer representative as well, Mr. Hemant Lupani from Shiv Shakti Group Com Company. Before I get to the awards, I'm going to quickly have a chat with the two captains. First, for the last time this season, the losing captain, Kathmandu Kings 11, Rohan Mustafa. It was the batting that did you all here today? Uh, I think, uh, to be honest, uh, they bowled really well. Uh, and I think we went, uh, a few of our batsmen went for a loss, so which cost us a lot. And that's why the total was not that much to defend on this wicket. And yeah, it looked a much better wicket, so 100 was always going to be on the lesser side. Yeah, but still, you if... Uh, we, we draw a few catches. Uh, I think uh, when we drop our first catch of uh, Ravi, it was 35 on the board. Still, if we get some good catches, good run out, still, you know, in this kind of wicket, a good total. But, you know, if you drop catches and you don't score on the wicket, so I think um, we don't deserve to win. Unfortunately, it's the end of the road for you all. But tell us about how exciting the season has been for your team and for you as a captain as well. Uh, I think it was a great. Uh, I've saw a few players uh, from all over the team, and I think it's a great opportunity for Nepal as well to bring them up. And uh, I think, um, and I think they will come up very high. There, there is a lot of talents, uh, especially in the batting order, and especially they are a very young, 15 and 16 age. So best of luck for them as well, and we'll see them later on as well. You all have entertained us all through the season. We hope to see you all back again. Thank you once again. Thank you very much. Thank you. The losing captain, Mr. Ron Mustafa. And now to the gladiators. Sharad Vesavkar, the captain of the winning team. Can we have a big round of applause for the captain, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, you're smiling, happy. This couldn't have gone any better. Uh, absolutely. Like uh, winning, reaching the finals is a very, a very happy moment for the whole team. The, the previous play. Now, yeah. Where did you think you got the advantage today? Was it with the ball in hand? Yeah, the toss was also very crucial and restricting restricting them to 100 runs was a great effort by the bowlers. And what do you all are going to do in the off? Are you going to take some time off, hit the nets once again, big final coming up? I think we just need to relax. It's just another game. You know, final, yeah, it's a big stage, but we are just going to go and enjoy it and give our best. We can't wait to see you back on Saturday. All the very best. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right, the captain of the winning team and the finalist, the Bhairava Gladiators. And now for the awards, we're going to start with the Game Changer Award, the Family Oil Game Changer. For an excellent 45 at the top of the innings, Ryan Tendiskara is going to be the Game Changer winner and the Family Oil Game Changer representative will give away the award, Mr. Hemant Mupani. Took his time. Excellent knock. Thank you, Ryan. And now for the SBI Bankable Player of the Day. And that, it was Kushal Malla with the ball last evening. It's him with the bat today. 3 for 20 for Kushal Malla. And he's the play, Bankable Player of the Day. He's going to get the rupees. Yes. Mr. Deepak Averwal to give away the medal. And Shripriya Ranjan to give away the Kushal, very happy to be in the final. Azur.
How was it? Was it easy to bowl on this wicket? Difficult wicket to bowl on? No. no. It was pretty, pretty easy. And that wicket of Kevin O'Brien, you would have been very happy. Yeah, very happy. Okay, thank you. In the final. Thank you. Well, a man of few words, Kushal Mala, but he was excellent with the ball in hand today, 3 for 20. And that's it from the presentation ceremony. Bhairava Gladiators versus the Lalitpur Patriots in the all-important final. And we'll see you back on Saturday. Thank you, Dav. And what a well-deserved day that was Kushal Mala. He was the man who got them here with the bat yesterday. He did it with the ball today. His 3 for 20. The outstanding performance. And he's a big reason why the Gladiators have got to the final. They won today by six wickets. Home. 100 was never going to be enough from the Kathmandu Kings. And there it is. The grand final. It's Saturday the 22nd of December here at the Kurdapur International Cricket Ground. If you're going to come, get here early. Because it's a 12.30pm start. And it's going to be the Lalapur Patriots against the Barawa Gladiators. And it's all going to be live on AP1 HD. I'll be bringing you those pictures with all the team here. We cannot wait for the final. We're going to have a day off tomorrow. Remember Nepal Idol, of course. And we're going to leave you with the highlights. We'll see you on Saturday.